Hey everyone, Steve here from SellToHelper.com and today I wanted to talk specifically about doing your sell to online and some of the software that you will need. Now before we carry on, I just wanted to say I hope you're all doing well and everything's going okay for you, that you and your loved ones are staying safe during these difficult times that we're all going through. So I wanted to say that first just to make sure everything's all right. Now if you are taking the sell to at the moment, obviously things have changed a lot. We all know this, I don't need to say that again, but CELTA has transitioned from a very limited online offering, let's say blended, to now in some cases being fully online. Some places might be transitioning back to more maybe socially distant classes as well, but none that I know of so far, they're all delivering online. And specifically, they're delivering mostly through a piece of software that you've probably heard about called Zoom. Now, in my current job, which again is in uh, learning technology rather than teaching, we're using Zoom a lot and we've done some online training through it. So I thought I'd run you through some of the key features of an in-class Zoom look, just so you can have an idea, because it's one of the best things I would say you can do to prepare before taking your CELTA. Now, before I go on and before we jump over onto Zoom, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you about. I also wanted to show you this. Um, CELTA course student notebook and diary. This is a, as you can see, a paperback notebook that I've made with lots of plans and also things, templates within it to help you organize your work. And it's got all kinds of stuff. It's got notes for background reading as well as, you know, templates to help you develop your lesson plans, um, reflections on your teaching practice sessions, you know, prompts to help you so you don't have to think about it, space for diary entries, as well to help you with the CELTA assignment. So I just wanted to let you know that this is available on Amazon. I'll put a link below the video so you can go and check it out. Quite a few people have bought it so far as well, which is great. It just helps, you know, it takes one less thing out of the equation, one less thing to think about. So, and there's also a discrete cover. If you're worried about having that all over it, um, you can get it with just like a someone drawing or a pencil stock image on the front, the discrete version as well. But that is available on Amazon in five different countries, I think. So check out the link. And it's not just the UK. It's many different Amazon platforms around the world. So I'll put down the link. And now let's carry on, jump over to Zoom. So on my screen, you can see I've got the Zoom desktop open. Now, this is actually for my work. So I can't show you too much because it's got your know, work stuff on it. But it's pretty nice. You know, you've got your home. You can start a new meeting. You can schedule one, share your screen, etc. through there. You can also just click a link that is emailed to you as well. So it's not difficult to join. Don't worry about it. The app works really well as well. Although I'd recommend using it on a desktop as in laptop, tablet, PC for your CELTA course if you're going down that route rather than trying to do it on the app. But you can in a pinch. And then you can see an overview of your meetings here and also your contacts. Now, in this case, let's just say I'll do a new meeting just to start one. You probably won't be starting any. You'll probably have them for your um, course. They'll probably invite you. Now, in this case, OK, it's failed to start my video because I'm recording. I'm just going to pause this and turn off the webcam so they can. See, I've just got a profile picture, but really on your cell, you're going to want a video. So let me stop this recording so I can start on Zoom and you will see me. OK, so I've just flicked it off. Now you can see this is in a narrow window. So if I press maximize and then down here, you've got your first controls. You can mute. You can also choose a different microphone if your current microphone is not very good. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting yourself a headset when you're actually teaching to avoid things like feedback and echo. That would be a big help. Again, that one's from work, but they're not expensive and it will enhance the audio quality for you and your students. Your students might not be using one, but hey ho, what can you do? And through here you can see I've got various options and so on. You can test things, etc. Just click there. I can mute and you'll see there that it is muted. Okay, I'm going to unmute that. And again here I've got my extra options. I can choose the camera. Quite a nice feature as well. I can choose a virtual background, which I'll show you more about in a moment. So if I just flick on my camera, you'll see pretty close. <laughs> and I've got my virtual background. So if I come into here 
and this is really nice if you've got you know like kids anyone running around in the background etc I've got a couple of random ones here let's say if I simply scroll down and you won't see this many when you first sign up you can just go to none okay that's my just boring old wall behind me and oh you can see my lockdown hair is getting a little bit crazy do apologize for that but uh, what can I say and yeah okay you can do any kinds of ones these are all inbuilt you can download zoom backgrounds etc got some more options along here again nothing I would you know worry about too much at this point if I cross that maybe I'll step back and pull the mic because it is a little bit uh, up close isn't it okay security not to worry about this is where it gets interesting though if I press participants then you see a window of participants or a panel pain I think is the right word isn't it I always forget that one and you can see in here who's muted and who's got their video recording when there's more people in you've probably seen there'll be a row along the top okay again something nice you can use in CELTA is people can answer through these as well they can also give you indications go faster slower on a break etc they'll probably be hitting the break one all the time but hey ho and you can again do different options with them here right so really this is for you to have a, a very whistle stop tour of but when you're doing it do go and have a look at all of these and think about how you could use them you know can you get them to play games with yes or no as you're teaching just little things in lieu of being in the classroom where you'd ask them on the fly they might just be able to say it as well really depends on your situation your students their internet etc okay and then if I click chat you can see this actually still has the participants at the top now and it's got the chat at the bottom so and there it goes to everyone you can also do private chat but I've got no one here as well as share a file and you can do your chat options one thing I would say is about doing private chat it can get confusing I've made a a couple of faux pas in the training nothing too bad but you know you really don't want to be sending a private message when you think it's public in certain situations for sure and again if I press participants you can see it just gets rid of the participants pane and it's all chat so you can have a nice bigger view of the flow of the chat there chat can get quite thick can come in thick and fast so could be difficult to monitor you might your institution might turn it off on your shelter if I press chat again it disappears so it's just a single click for chat and also for participants if I double click however you'll see it changes slightly and what's happened is now that the chat pane is actually behind the screen it should be easier to view than that but anyway if you double click you kind of toggle in and out of full screen mode effectively and the chat and the participants window are floating so if you've got two screens like I have you can pull them over to the other screen to have a bit more space and the share screen option again it shows you all the things that are available to share now that's my video so on etc and you can also go into a white mode now, I'm not going to go into everything here I should add but you've got these options the whiteboards a really nice option to have um, obviously you can draw on them students can draw on them annotate great feature however if I just stick to my screen because you can share a screen rather than a window it keeps it nice and simple and you see I've got this green band around it now well hopefully hopefully that's caught in my video capture but you've got a green band so you know what you're sharing and again my head my talking head here is floating and I'll see other videos and so on now if I bring this over this is actually the zoom menu when you're when you're presenting it changes again a little bit um, or when you're sharing your screen it changes and you've still got these options here and you can see it tells you your screen sharing and you can press stop share at any time equally people can annotate so I'll just put my first letter of my name but you can see all these options you can have with games and so on interactivity to keep the students engaged so again have a look deeper into zoom but it's really useful remember I can stop share if I want 
and on the more option I can bring back the chat see it pops up that's the kind of window I was talking about and another feature breakout rooms really useful you can put students into these so they work in groups which you'll probably be doing a lot of at least you would be doing group work normally whether you'll use it here I don't know but something to have in mind and you can automatically you know by numbers I'm the only one here but it could be if there's nine of you you could have split into th three groups of three instantly so it's really quick and effective way of splitting them up as well and then they effectively go into another video conference just with those people and as the teacher you can stop it and bring them back as needed so that's that I'll close my chat window as well come back on here recording students can have a copy for later you can get more info you can do things like you know turn off the annotations etc and customize I'm not going to touch any of these live on you know streaming services but plenty there to play with so if I press stop share and press the chat window again I mean you've also got I said there was the record button you've got reactions down here and again these will appear in people's view thumbs up nice quick easy ones and when you have lots of students in the one room as well you have the option to do a poll but you really want to prepare those in advance so quick surveys you can get them to answer questions or you can do little quizzes like Kahoot and so on and just simply ping a link into the chat yeah now that's obviously not a full web link but if I did it properly <laughs> doing this quite quickly as you can tell then students can simply click it now you do a direct link there but you can do different things link out to other platforms as well so it's really versatile really easy to use and that's it really just if you're going to use zoom definitely have a look at it get used to it there is a free version so really get into it ask your institution your cell to center if you can use zoom in advance to get a feel for it really get to grips with it now if you enjoyed this as well next thing i'd like you to do is to watch the other video I've got about CELTA with COVID-19, it'll give you more tips and help you to stay on path and be successful as well. So remember to subscribe also if you enjoyed the channel and if you think it'll help you, ooh, my virtual background is not helping here. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna end that. Or actually I'll take off the virtual background because you can see it cuts out things. There it is. If you think it'll help you, Check out the CELTA course, Student Notebook and Diary, to give you lots of templates to help you with your learning and just to take some of the heavy lifting off for you and do a little bit of the work for you. Okay, so hope you found that useful. Stay safe and I'll talk to you in another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.